Registered Phenomena Code 053 Object Class Alpha Black Hazard Types Not Available Containment Protocols RPC-053 is to be contained in a triple-sealed 1m by 1m by 1m titanium safe with 0.2m thick walls. The safe is to be fitted with a magnetic lock, only accessible by a level 4 security clearance, and is to be held in Site-024 Storage Division. In the event of a containment breach, Site-024 Storage Division is to undergo immediate lockdown until the security of RPC-053 is ensured. If RPC-053's containment is breached, Site-024 Storage Division is to undergo an immediate Class I incendiary cleanse. Containment Update February 8, 2011 The addition of bail class memetic hazards have neutralized RPC-053's potential of provoking an apocalyptic scenario. RPC-053's object class has been re-evaluated by the board and has been adjusted to Alpha. RPC-053 is an unidentified issue of the Catholic Holy Bible, retrieved from the captive Black Monastery Cardinal in Italy. RPC-053 is severely worn and is believed to have been written during the early 3rd century CE, according to carbon dating. RPC-053 is capable of bending reality to manifest miracles as described by its scripture. When scripture from RPC-053 is read in Latin, the acts of God or miracles entailed by the verses are performed instantaneously. Scripture concerning no divine actions does not manifest anything when read. For RPC-053 to function, the scripture must be read aloud at a minimum of 73 decibels. Mumbling the scripture and reading in thought will yield no results. RPC-053 will also defunct if the scripture is not closed with a verbal declaration of the read chapter and verses. All subjects of RPC-053's alteration of reality are to be denoted as RPC-053-2. In order to prevent an apocalyptic scenario, RPC-053 has been grafted with mimetic kill agents in the books of Genesis and Revelations. Reading from Genesis or Revelation requires a level 5 security clearance and confirmation from the board. Attempting to read from Genesis or Revelation without appropriate clearance will result in termination. Interrogation Log 053-1-1 Date November 9, 2010 Subject Cardinal Interviewer Dr. Gerald Freelance Begin log. Translation enabled. Greetings, Cardinal. It is a pleasure to be in your presence. My name is Dr. Freelance, and I'm just here to ask a few qu- I apologize for being curt, dear Freelance, but I will not disclose anything pertaining to my occupations or current association. I understand the motives of this institution, and I am confident in reaffirming that I will remain poised against any forceful retrieval of information. Your prominence in the Black Monastery is not the subject of this investigation. My team is only interested in the Bible we found in your robes. It holds anomalous properties, yes? Perhaps man-made? I will not disclose any information on my Bible. It is nothing of your concern. Cardinal, I don't want to resort to anything… physical. The Authority would be happy to supply you with more sufficient living conditions and benefits if you… Are you a religious man, Dr. Freelance? That is nothing of relevance for this. Then perhaps you need to rediscover your spirituality. Might I recommend reading from Revelation 6, verses 1 to 17? Thank you for your time, Cardinal. Analog Closing Statement Subject provided minimal help in the investigation of RPC-053, and proved to be stubborn after more violent methods of interrogation were used. Further interrogation will focus on the subject's allegiance to the Black Monastery. Addendum 053.1 Test No. 09 March 17, 2011 Test Operator Dr. Class A Level 5 ID A-Dash
Subject: Bretter Richardson. Class D. ID: D-1786. Procedure: Subject was strapped to a hand truck, bound and gagged, and wheeled to the testing facility. The subject's eyes were forced open by a vice 30 seconds prior to the admission of the scripture. Observing personnel were instructed to close the observation window. Verse 1926 of the Book of Genesis was read in Latin by the test operator. Log translated. But Lot's wife looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. Genesis 19, verse 26. Results. Subject was instantaneously transformed into a pillar of sodium chloride. The sculpting of the pillar was humanoid, and its details matched every feature and structure of Subject D-1786 and its corresponding attire. The integrity of mineral was fragile and broke seconds after being disturbed. Signs of life were not observed, and Subject D-1786 was declared deceased. Analysis. RPC-053 has the capabilities of manipulating matter and rendering sentient beings into inanimate objects. Analysis of the remains of D-1786 detailed that every cell of the subject was transformed into a particle sodium chloride. The sodium chloride yielded no anomalous properties, and demonstrated no signs of sentience. Addendum 053.2 Test No. 11 March 28, 2011 Time 1146 1314 Test Operator Dr. Frederick Smith Class A Level 4 ID A-0763 Subject Michael Cole Class D ID D-1791 Procedure Subject was administered a lethal injection of potassium chloride. Following his cardiac arrest, the subject's body was then strapped to a gurney and brought to the testing facility. The test operator then read aloud verses 15. 3 to 4 from the Book of 1 Corinthians in Latin. Succeeding the administration of Scripture, the subject was then contained in his former cell. Log translated. For what I received I passed on to you, as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 Verses 3 to 4. Results. After three days, the subject was discovered alive in a cell. The subject, however, appeared to be suffering from severe distress, and was found screaming and struggling in his gurney at 0906. Attempts to subdue the subject through verbal conditioning proved futile, and the subject was exposed to Class A amnestics. The subject, however, awoke hours later under the same influence. The subject was incoherent and displayed no response to verbal or physical interference from personnel. Analysis. RPC-053 has the capabilities of reanimating the dead. However, RPC-053's effects appear to instill mental trauma on its subjects. Subjects of RPC-053 after administration of 1 Corinthians 15 3-4 lose verbal comprehension, muscle control, and cognition. Amnestics are capable of subduing the subject, however, their effects on the subject's behavior are null. Further testing is required to determine if this anomaly is limited by the subject's cause of death.